happy to launch our very first Facebook Live series on helping our local businesses and members switch from that brick and mortar uh, selling platform into online sales. And so we know this is a really tricky time. It's been weird, it's been wild, it's been a whole lot of complicated things. But we are here to help you. Um, I've been getting a lot of calls and questions and Facebook chats about this topic. So we said this is a need in our community and we're gonna fill it. So today is video number one. Um, we are going to provide you helpful tips if this is your first time doing online sales in a social media platform, which would be like Facebook, Instagram, those things, or even on your own website. Um, if you've been doing this for a while, we're gonna also uh, give you some great tips. So this is kind of a community-minded, um, experiment, I guess, really, we're doing live videos. And so you can actually comment with your questions and we're gonna follow up with answers on those and try to provide those answers in future videos as well. So these are designed to be short videos um, and you know, it's, it's live. So you can just keep going with us and share your ideas. So maybe you're seeing something on the West Coast, East Coast, South Coast, wherever, and it's a really great idea that a business has and it would be helpful and beneficial to another business in our community. Go ahead and post that. Um, one of the things that we really want you guys to remember is that we are 100% encouraging social distancing and compliance with state uh, procedures and guidelines. So we're not missing that and just throwing the doors open and saying everybody come shop in our stores. But how can we make cash? Because we want to keep you guys alive and thriving right now, making that happen. Um, so one of the things that's happening right now is Sam. Hi, Sam. She is at home helping us virtually by posting some awesome comments as we go with links to things that you need that will help you in our first video. And one of the things I want to mention is if you are a business and you need cash now, um, that sounds like a bad commercial, but it's real life. Uh, the SBA is offering low interest loans and Sam's going to post the link to that. You can go investigate that as an option if you want to get some cash moving in that direction. Now, the second part is we want to get those sales going. So, um, the first thing I want you to consider is what do your customers need? Your customers actually have a need right now. What is it that they need? Do you have a product or service sitting in your inventory that you could possibly be selling online? Uh, maybe you have access to a product or service that um, they, they want and they need. Um, who will be able to buy that? So there's a lot of kind of different things happening right now, but one of the for sure things that we know is there's a whole bunch of people that are still getting paid sitting at home and they're wanting to shop. Um, Amazon's kind of weird and slowing down and they're looking at other options, Target, Walmart online, Kohl's online, things like that. But what if they could redecorate their home with things that they bought here and keep that money in our economy? They're thinking about that drippy pipe, they're thinking about um, maybe their insurance quotes, things like that are sitting here kind of adding up in their brain and, and they might be ready to spend some money. Um, what do you need to do to make that happen? Connect the customer who has the cash and the time and the resources with the product that you've got sitting um, ready to sell. Um, so we're going to talk through that today just a little bit. Um, a really good example right now is I'm, I'm working in my home office, which is a little weird. It's a card table and um, I have a really bad chair and I really need a good chair for my back. And I guarantee someone in our community has one for sale. So how are we going to connect customer with the need with that resource? Um, there's a lot of really good things that we can do right, right now. We can make that happen. Um, so the first thing that you want to do is go ahead and run as fast as you can to your computer, to your phone, whatever. To get ready to switch to online selling, you need to make sure that your website is 100% up to date. Same with your Facebook, Instagram, all of those platforms that the phone numbers that are listed, the contacts that are listed are current, accurate, they're ready to go. Um, make sure that you've got notes on there. If you guys are not open, uh, make sure if you have links on there. So maybe you have products that you can actually post right now on that website and get them up there so people can see them, they can be ready to buy those, that sort of thing. Uh, make sure all of the stuff on your stuff is working. The other thing that I want you to do, in order to be able to sell online, you have to be able to receive cash. So we at the Chamber, we use PayPal. It's really, really simple. It's totally free. Um, it's a great way for you to do that. Um, so you can sign up for free and get that started today. You could also look into Square Services. If you do have another online merchandising platform um, that you're using already for online sales, that's fine. You can use that. 
The most important thing that I also want you to remember right alongside all of that is you need to be able to access this from wherever you are. So it would be ideal that you can access it from your smartphone or your laptop or wherever you're working. Um, so make sure you have access, your website and Facebook are up to date, you have all your logins and passwords, and you go and you get that PayPal account started and registered right now so that as we move forward we'll know how to use that. Um, so in my next video, we're going to keep this one short, get it started, get those questions in so we know what you're looking for right today. But in my next video, I'm going to teach you exactly what you need to do to start selling online. We're going to talk about the pictures that you need to post, how to do live videos just like we're doing right now. It's not super complicated, but we'll teach you how to do it effectively. We're going to talk about how to receive money through an online source like PayPal, and we're going to talk about some different delivery options that you can do right now or even future delivery so that the minute this breaks, you're getting that product into your customer's hands. Um, so really important right now, um, let's learn together. We love your business. We love our community, and we want to make you successful. So be sure that you're commenting. Be sure that you're sending us messages with your questions. Be sure that you're sharing this information so that people can stay in the loop. And Sam is posting some awesome links to things that you can do right now today to start getting your brain thinking about moving from brick and mortar to online sales. Thank you, everyone, for joining us. And be sure, sure, sure to let us know what we can help you with in the future. Have a great day.